Well, Silver was a little fat Palomino mare pony, and Brendan was her son. He was kind of a reddish brown color with like a yellow whitish color mane. And then later you got Duke, Dukey for mm -hmm. us, a little brown Shetland pony. And where did we live with all that? At Rainbow Acres, our little cottage outside of Charlottesville in the country. Where, how far out in the country was it? Was it, uh, I mean, did, was I driving a car? Yes, we had, when I was little, we had a Valiant, a Plymouth Valiant. And when we got a little older, you got a um, VW van, that orange van with a white top. Do you remember that vehicle? No, now that's, I wish I remembered all of those things. Yeah. No, I remember the names of the ones you were telling me about and some, somewhat like what they look like or something, but how in the world can all that just go so quickly and, you know? I think we, are, we try to have so much in our brain, eventually some stuff just overflows and drains out. <laughs> Some stuff what? Overflows and drains out is what it feels like to me. We had um, Captain and Flair and that we had a big... Flair was a great big mare, wasn't she? She was a big brown mare, yeah. And uh, Champ, the big, huge Appaloosa horse. He was 18 hands tall. He was a big horse. And how, how old was I at that time? And what um, were you all doing? Were you in school? Yeah, I would have been between 6 and 11 years old. So that was when I went mostly to Robert E. Lee School. And, and where were we living? You would have been around 45 years old. And we lived outside of Charlottesville uh -huh. in Albemarle County. Yeah, and I guess, um, of course, a lot of that is hard to remember it also a lot of it is uh, difficult to remember when you are and I'm not using this as an excuse but when you are a person by yourself with a family which means yeah. more than one child you yeah know. you were a single mom with two children yeah and it's maybe maybe you know I mean God's got a lot to do I know but maybe some of the things he does is kind of somehow balance that out as you're in the middle of that so that you don't or maybe some other people he's able to give them a little bit of help you know along the line and and raise up some kids that never have another chance except for what maybe he's feeding into them wherever they are maybe a wonderful summer camp or something like that you know mm -hmm. because um I imagine that's what does happen because technically, I mean, I, I just, I don't know all that much about it, but I know just from saying the statement, I do not believe the person or the brain or anything that they have capabilities of is able to handle everything. No. I mean, so somehow along the line, some of it takes care of itself and, and, um, like you say, you can remember some of these things just as clearly, and and I don't. I remember the names and some of the, what the horses and things looked like, but um, I don't know. I don't know what some of those things on TV are showing. If if any of them are trying to show, um, some some of them are so sad now, where they're showing some man that. Um, he tried to do everything he could for his kids or something, and then he just, oh, just went stark raving nothing, you know. And um, the whole family never even reached a halfway decent point. Especially in these ones they're showing on there now, the young people are just, well, as I said, down to animal uh, level. Yeah. And, um, and he just, and there's a couple of them I saw a few this week just briefly, and they were like, it, it just, he, the, the father couldn't even put it together at all, and they could mm -hmm. care less what he thought, you know? Yeah. And um, those were incredible.
which is not to say I should even be watching them, but I was like, I just can't believe they're that bad. And uh, But I guess they are, and I guess a lot of times we, we think or we thought, oh, well, those kind of places were off in um, um, somewhere in New York, some awful corner of New York or something like that. But yeah. these were rich people with everything they wanted and had and everything, and the fathers were, in fact, a couple of them just uh, managed to destroy themselves before the end of the program. Like, they somehow got themselves out in the water on fire and it sank. They were buried. Who bothered? Who cared? Mm -hmm. I mean, they were just unreal. The people that are, if these are true, do you think these are true stories that they tell like that? I think probably a lot of them are actually just fictional movies, you know, that people watch because they think it's dramatic and entertaining. It's going to get their money in the theater to yeah. use for whatever they want to. Yeah. Some of them are just incredible. I didn't, I haven't looked at any of them to any length of time that I'd even remember them, but I just uh, was dumbfounded that they were even on. Do you feel like taking a walk around like we did last time? Yeah. Let's do that. that. I think that. I think that's very good because I think if there's, as far as I'm concerned, if there's anything for me to improve by, it's to do these things that you help me to do. Yeah. Because, I mean, I get tired and.